Happy President's Day. <laughs> well, the end of President's Day. Um, so a little change of pace. I uh, usually do this in the car, to or from somewhere. And um, forgive me if you're the kind of person that doesn't like when people talk when they eat, but I'll try not to, you know, be letting my food hang all out. I wasn't sure what I was gonna make this post about. Um, but we had a lot going on today. My sister had a doctor's appointment. She's been having some back issues. I had mentioned in a previous post that uh, my sister's been disabled pretty much all her life in one way or another. And then now my mom is, is um, now disabled as well at the end of her working life. And um, we kind of all stick together. Well, we had to go across the bridge um, to, uh, to take my sister to a doctor's appointment to see if we could figure out what was wrong with her, um, with her back and what was causing it pain and stuff. We didn't really get the answers we were looking for, but, um, um, I was originally going to talk about how I was, uh, we were going to leave the doctor's appointment and this woman came in and, uh, she had a, like a miniature poodle with her and he like jumped up on my leg and he like started to hump my leg and, um, she said, oh, oh, excuse me, that's my service dog. And I was going to talk about how you could tell it wasn't her service dog. Maybe it was her um, emotional support animal, but it wasn't a service dog because it wasn't trained. Service dogs um, don't interact with other people when they're working. But then I got to a point where I was like, you know what? That's her journey, not mine. I'm not going to sit here and make a post about how I judge her. Um, so instead, I was going to make this a post about food because... Um, Hold up, my, my baby's next to me eating too. We, I made him some lo mein and we're eating lo mein. Um, what he's doing is picking up pieces of carrot and beef and flopping it around and then throwing it on the floor and watching the dog eat it. But that's him and that's the point of my post. Um, we stopped at TGI Fridays for lunch and I was really excited because, you know, oh, we're going to go to a restaurant and I'm going to order something that we can share together because I'm doing baby led weaning, which basically means that he um, just eats what I eat. Just I make sure that what I put on his plate is, is safe for him to eat as far as not being too little where he could choke on it. And it's easy for him to pick up and it doesn't have honey in it, which is basically the only thing you have to be careful of under a year old. And he doesn't really eat purees. Um, so I was really excited and we get there and he's cranky and maybe it's because I mean he likes to experiment with food but he still really likes the boob and he was hungry and he probably wanted the boob and I was putting this food on his tray that he has to work hard to eat so I like kind of picked up a little bit of my mashed potatoes and I like put it towards his mouth yeah. you would have thought I pinched his leg he looked at me with such offense that I would even dare think that I was allowed to feed him since I usually let him eat by himself. He threw his head back and Aah! I said, what is wrong with you? I, what are you doing? And he could not calm down. So I pulled him into my lap and I sat there with him and he's getting angry and everything like that. And then he sees my plate with my salmon, mashed potatoes, and my broccoli in front of him. And he just grabs the plate and he pulls it up to him, spilling some broccoli onto the floor that I have paid for, okay? He picks up a piece of salmon and he's like, and it's like falling between his fingers. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, my expensive salmon. I would have shared it with him. But this is me not being able to let control, let go of my control, even though that's what baby led weaning is about. And I wanted to kind of like put it next to his mouth and I wanted him to eat it off my fingers. And that's not what he wanted to do. He wanted to try my plate right there. And he wanted to, you know, do it himself, even though he was sp spilling food that I had paid for. And that's what I think this post is gonna be about. Because he's doing it the, right now. His best friend in the world, my dog, Java, my pit bull. Um, um, I think she cheats on me now. I mean, I have to move aside. She's found somebody new and his name is Charlie. Um, she sits underneath his high chair and he throws food. Perfectly good food that I've made for him and paid for with my money. 
he throws it on the floor for her. Eats a little bit and he throws it on the floor for her. Sometimes he picks something up and you can just see it flying and like juice is flying off of it. And then boop, he throws it on the floor and then he just looks and waits for the dog to come. He waits for the furry vacuum cleaner to go ahead and clean it up. And it's not what I want, but I know it's what is involved with baby lead weaning and it got me thinking. You know what, there's a certain way I want things to go when I serve him something new or we're in a restaurant. And it doesn't usually go that way because he's a person with his own emotions. And, um, hold up a second, he's like, over here, I need to give him some more stuff on his plate. Um, and he's got his own emotions and he's got his own opinions. They're very primitive compared to mine, but they drive how he feels, just like... I, my emotions and my opinions drive how I feel. And sometimes they don't line up with what I want him to do or how I want things to go. But you know what? That's fine. He doesn't have to live up to my expectations. I mean, unless my expectation is I want you to grow up to be a decent human being that doesn't hurt people. Other than that, he doesn't have to live up to my expectations. He is a completely different human being than I am. And, um, you know, it's my responsibility to take care of him, but that doesn't mean it's his responsibility to um, impress me. And I think that's what I'm getting at. Sometimes, he doesn't really embarrass me. He's a good baby. But sometimes I want things to go a certain way and they don't because he's not me. And that's okay. And I want him to feel that way even though he's seven months old. I want him to feel that way when he's seven years old. When he's 17 years old and he's probably doing things I don't approve of. Hopefully nothing that gets him hurt or killed, but... Or hurts or kills somebody else. I mean, obviously not, you know, that. But if he's doing stuff, then I wouldn't make those decisions. Well, you know what? You make those decisions, though. And that will be fine with me. I want him to feel this way when he's 27. If, you know... You know, if he, if, if he comes, I want him to feel like he can say or do anything and I might not agree, but I'll always love him and I'll always approve of who he is as a person. And it starts now. It starts now when we're having these experiences together and I want things to be my way, but they're not going to be my way because he's a, he's his own person. All right. This post ran a little long, but that's okay. Things don't always go the way I want them to. Um, so happy President's Day. And um, I'll catch you all on the flip side. All my new followers and all of the followers that followed me over here from my friends list. All right. See you later.